Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Wizards of the Coast and their desire for Magic players to spend more money, whether or not that is something good or something bad. So leave a comment. This is going to be a really good discussion. Wizards of the Coast wants Magic players to spend more money because they're afraid that there won't be as many new Magic players as there were. Innistrad was the biggest set then, Zendikar was the biggest set before then, and then you had Khans was even bigger. Um, Pharaoh, so it's even bigger than the pre every single set. There's been a massive amount of new players. So the trend, Hasbro has identified this trend cannot continue. Therefore, they want Magic players to spend more money. We already see this in the Eternal Masters. Already, Shadows over in Innistrad goes into Commander 2016, goes into Eternal Masters, and goes into Conspiracy 2. You have four sets all aligned up in the next four or five months. And guess what? Eldritch Moon comes right after. So you have from Shadows over Innistrad to Eternal Masters to Conspiracy 2 to Commander 2016 to Sh Eldritch Moon. You have five sets condensed in a very short period of time. So they are definitely after Magic players. And they've, they've stated before in their financial reports. Their goal for 2016 is to make Magic players spend more money. Now you might say, hey, they're going to spend more money because they won't spend as much for, uh, let's say, uh, the secondary market. That's probably true, except it's not true. So what happened with Eternal Masters and what happened with Modern Masters and what happens with every single Masters that's going to come out is it actually boosts the secondary market. Now you look at the dual lands, they're, they're as expensive as they've ever been, they're more actually money than after Eternal. So Legacy is more expensive to play if you look at it as building a complete deck after Force of Will and Wasteland were announced. And that's the same thing with Modern. Um, it is surprising uh, and it's also something that you have to be aware of because if you do not budget yourself well, you're going to be out of money. Shadows. Eternal, Conspiracy, Commander, all stuff I want to buy. Eldritch Moon, I'd probably, there's probably like a cameo that I would probably invest in. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And not only are these five sets coming out and going to, and then we're going to have to spend money on these five sets. Uh, I know plenty of you would say, oh, you don't have to spend money. But when you see like a pack in Walmart, or you see a Commander deck in Walmart or Target or where at your game store or you go to pre-release, that's all money, right? Even if these five events you just bought a pack of. That's still a pack of money that you're just gone. Um, so Wizard of the Coast, like I, and also rotation, the biggest thing is now our, we're gonna rotate 50% faster than before. Um, so rotation is gonna hit us in Shadows Over Industrial. Magic is just bonkers crazy in terms of money right now um, and how I don't want to say it's greedy because I, I see it being good for the players, but if you cannot budget yourself well or have self-control over the next few sets, you're going to be broke. You will be broke. Anyway, bye guys.